Good morning, Sun Chasers. Captain's Log. April 2nd, 2019. Last night's sleep was not so bad, but I'm energized to get going today. Took care of some morning businesses at Walmart, pumped up some gas in the car just to make sure we have enough. So far in this trip, we've done 181 miles. Right now, 81. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're headed out right over to the Mesa Verde entrance today and I'm planning on camping there tonight. So let's see, let's hope we find some good camping zones or camping areas, disparate camping areas where I can just park somewhere, you know, secluded. Let's see. There might be a park. There might be a park fee, but we shall see. Today, I got my buddy, uh, uh, Luffy, right there. Got him. Got him strapped up to to one of these little seat seat uh, organizers, so you can enjoy the views along with the rest of us. I hope you can see him. Ain't that right, Luffy? Yeah. <laughs> So this is day two. Thanks for joining us again. I should be uploading day one sometime today. Last night I got pretty tired and I didn't, I can't, I didn't really want to turn on the generator in the Walmart parking lot. But yeah, today's goals uh, besides uh, Besides exploring, of course, is just to get our internet back up with uh, Verizon. Got to call them up. Got to get the Wi-Fi back up. And more importantly, got to get finished. Got to just edit these videos so all of you can actually see what we're, what I'm doing here. <laughs> Without that, who am I really talking to? It's a beautiful morning near Cortez, Colorado. Very close to the uh, border, New Mexico border. By the way, so yesterday I said Ridgeway was one of the, and Telluride was one of the uh, closest ones for rec and uh, medical um, from south. I was wrong. Cortez has a bunch of them. Rec. Didn't even see any medical, so maybe it's just a wreck right here? I don't know. Didn't really check any of them out. Whoa, look at that mountain range up ahead. There's even a plane going by. With a long contrail. Chemtrail? Contrail. You tell me, what do you think it is? If you can see it. There's a bunch of chemtrails, contrails, chemtrails, contrails. Whichever. Yeah, I see it all over the place actually. It's zigzagged all over. They're trying to do something. Do they want to extend the winter? Or is that actually just contrails? Don't know. If you don't know what chemtrails and contrails are, please Google them. Or just YouTube them. I'm sure you'll find a bunch of stuff stuff about them. They're not necessarily all bad. Chemtrails are used in Colorado for clouding seeds in order to get more snow in seasons where it's bad and barren uh, and sometimes extended. Why? Because there's lots of ski resorts that, that millions of dollars are on the line for them every season um, if, they don't, if they don't get that snow. Um, so yeah, but kind of surprising to see so many around here. I don't mean, I guess I'm not too familiar with this part of Colorado, so maybe they have some ski resorts I'm not aware of. Maybe the Mesa Verde has ski resorts I'm not aware of. Who knows? I'm not an expert in Mesa Verde. I'm just going to explore the great outdoors. Mesa Verde just happens to be one of the recognized good ones, according to the reviews apparently. Eventually I'll find my own ones as I explore around, right? 
not like Luffy just finds every run, every new adventure all the time. You know, he has certain points that he wants to go to, and adventure finds him. Do 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 do. So speaking of last night, it wasn't so bad. Um, didn't get bothered, hardly any noises. Had to pee in the middle of the night. Had a bottle, <laughs> but um, water bottles are very hard <laughs> because it's very, very skinny. And, but you know, Things worked out. Two balls. Just a tip. <laughs> Just a tip. Uh, get, get those uh, big old uh, Gatorade bottles. I had some, but they weren't empty. So yeah, today I'll make sure one of them's empty. Little things you don't always think about. Well, I did think about it, but I guess it slipped my mind still. Sleeping in the car ain't so bad, except I mean, I could almost stretch out if I'm angled or weird, but you know. It's not as comfortable as the full-size bed, that's for sure. So, just gotta get used to it. I wanna make this road trip work. Can't let one little, one little hiccup or a little bit of discomfort ruin this whole thing. But maybe that's why I need to get an overlanding vehicle. Oh, well. Come on, Range Rover. Contact me. Off-roading, Mesa Verde. All right, we're turning right into Mesa Verde. Whoop, 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 whoop. Smash that like button. I don't know why, but we're going to smash Mesa Verde. I meant I don't know why about the smash that like button. That's just what I hear other YouTubers say, so please do. <laughs> Visitor center ticket sales. All right, so let's go talk to them. Let's see if I, if they, with the ticket, I could actually stay in here all night and camp out. Well, let's go to the visitor center first. She hits. Oh, I'm sorry, anyone. This is gonna be a wrong turn. That's why you need those two sides. Do not enter. Hey, I think I recognize that um, tiny RV. It's a C class? Yeah. For 1,000 feet, turn left on the Mesa Top Ruins Road. Okay, I'm good. Thank you, Google. Let's see, let's see. Visitor center, visitor center. What to do here? We're in the visitor center. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna be using the Google Pixel to take some videos and images. 
And we'll stitch them together for this one. Woo, woo, woo. 4K and 1080. We'll see. Well, I mean, I guess that hopefully that one looks better because it's going to ha have a lot more pixels to work with. Let's just park right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. See you in the pixel. Bye. I got coffee.